well today i'm back at greenville transmission this car basically lives here but today we are converting my lt1 mass airflow to an ls1 mass airflow um, i didn't know you could do this till uh, a few weeks ago so basically this is just a pigtail that converts uh, the iet and the mass airflow all into one so i already have the ls pcm and ls wiring harness so might as well run an ls mass airflow yeah, I should have just LS swapped it, but no, I'm kidding. I'm not doing that. But this is basically just a video of us putting this together. So, hope you enjoy. So, right now, thanks to uh, Jared's driveway, yep, this driveway, we are replacing my V band because I have an exhaust leak. So, Jared got the new V band on. Hopefully, I don't drag that one in about five seconds. You can tell the difference. <laughs> so now we're going to lower her down and work on the mass airflow. So this mass airflow is off his car, so we're going to see if it actually works. Like it was made for it. Lube it on up. Now it, it ain't as pretty. It doesn't say TPIS on there. <laughs> as long as it works. Because well, this, this one. Is good one. This one's dead. I just hope that actually works or fits. There you go. Time to look at the scan tool. I wonder if this will work. I think it will because that one isn't that hard to get on. That one was always a pain for me. Uh, you may have to get a different coupler. Fortunately, this tube is bigger, so all you have to do is get the the, the straight coupler. Works for me. Fire and hole. So the reason we are doing this is this is just a TPIS housing with a stop mass airflow sensor in it, and um, at idle is running like 22, I think it's like seconds per whatever. Well, it's supposed to be like around six or seven, but it's running at 22. I think it's, I forget the technical term, but basically do running like five times the amount of what it's supposed to be. Then I figured out you can run and convert it to an LS mass airflow, which should help out a lot better because it gets rid of the IET here and it puts it on to one housing. So he's gonna grab the scan cool and fire in the hole. What year did we say this thing was a one or a two? I think it's a 99 Trans Am, technically. Thanks. 99 Trans Am, computer harness, 93 Camaro, 99 Camaro Dash. Um, and I think that's about it. Why would the LS swap it? That would make too much sense. Let's just put the whole LS computer system on it and leave it in LT1. So we have a hybrid bitch. This is 98. Oh, 98. I thought it was 99. Whatever. It'll load either way. Oh. Iron hole. That good or bad? I don't know. <laughs> so right now I'm gonna go test drive it. Um, I can't videotape test driving it, but basically what it used to do would be uh, to um, die and backfire and wild up with throttle. Jared can't come with me because he can't fit in the car. So I'm gonna go test drive it and see if this mass airflow helps at all. Um, fingers crossed. Just a little video driving it.
we finally found a mass air flow because the one that we was using is off Jared's car and we found this one hopefully it works but then I got another coupler and a new air filter because that one is crap so now we're gonna put it on so we got the LS mass air flow on and we got the new nice air filter and I guess I'm going to load it up and take it to my dad's for the weekend and drive it without a front end alignment because I left it there for a front end alignment for a weekend. They didn't do shit. So I'm going to drive it probably just a little bit because I don't want to destroy my new tires. But it is what it is. So I'm going to go put it back on the trailer and head to Robbinsville. Um, it's basically just a simple bolt-on basically um, the only perk I see from converting from LT1 to an LS uh, mass airflow is um, you can get like the different cards um, for the LS mass airflow so once I go boosted I can go get like a ZL1 mass airflow and just swap out the cards and the ZL1 mass airflow will already know like what to do for boost and stuff like that so that and it gets the idle air temperature sensor and the mass airflow all into one housing. And it's just a lot better um, sensor than just the regular OEM uh, LT1. So hopefully this video helps. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.